Hey everyone, in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to add a glass effect to your graphics. It's extremely easy to do and also very effective. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to open up Adobe Photoshop CS3. CS2, CS4, CS1, they'll all work the same, they'll all work perfectly. Wait for it to load up. Once it's loaded, go to File, New or Control N and the new box will pop up. Select what you're working with, in this case pixels. I'm going to select about 900, 900 pixels. Uh, height of 100. Um, select the background that you want, the colour mode. Uh, for this background we're going to have transparent. You can, uh, Once you're happy with the settings, press OK. Uh, your image will load up with whatever background you've selected and you now go to the arrow tool and you go down to the paint bucket tool. If the paint bucket tool doesn't show up, hold down um, and go along and down to paint bucket tool. Now we're on paint bucket tool, we go to the color swatches. Click the top one, the one at the top, and this should pop up color picker. Drag the mouse around to what color you want. It'll show you the new color and the old current color. So we want the new color to be white. Click OK once you're happy with the color and click anywhere on the image. The background is now white. Go back to the arrow tool and we have got our first layer. We're going to add some text now, so we want to go down to the text, press anywhere, choose the font, the size and the colour again. Uh, so the colour we want black, obviously the new colour is the same as the current one, it was already on black. Click anywhere, drag around and then start typing, so YouTube banner. Centrally, uh, to centrally align it, press the arrow and then press Control A on the keyboard. Control A, or you can drag around, or Control A will bring up the marching ants, as you can see, around the outside. Then go to the arrow tool, go to the top, and press align horizontal centers and align vertical center, and it will align the whole thing in exactly the center of the image. Deselect it and go back to the arrow. Now we're going to add the glass effect. So for this we're going to need a new layer. Click on create a new layer, layer 2, um, and go to the selection tool again. As you can see it's on a square, you can uh, hold and select which one you want. And drag down to about half, maybe just a bit over half of the image. Then go to the paint bucket tool, and as you can see white is the one in the background. So we click the switch, and white is now the one. Click somewhere in the selected area and it's turned the whole thing white. Go deselect it and then go back to the arrow and that's our layer 2, half the screen. We want to change the opacity now to whatever looks good basically on the screen. So for this we're going to select 20. Again you can use the arrow keys to move the layer up and down as you can see or you can just drag it up and down. And as you can see, we've kind of got a glass effect. We can make this a stronger glass effect, changing it to 30. And there you go, that's our glass effect. Reposition it how you like. Now, as you can see, this is a straight cut glass effect. We can change it to a curved glass effect. All we need to do is right click and delete this layer. Are you sure you want to delete it? Click yes and go and create a new layer two, another layer two. Hold down and drag and click on the elliptical marquee tool. Drag down roughly in the center, so both, uh, so both corners are touching the corners of the image. Once you're happy with the positioning, get the paint bucket tool again, make sure it's on white, and click anywhere on the screen. Deselect now again, uh, go back to the arrow, and go back to layer 2. Again, change the opacity to whatever you feel like, so 30, and you can press the arrow keys to go up and down. Play around with that and have fun. You don't have to have black as a colour text. Use whatever looks good. Thanks for watching guys, more videos coming up soon.